Hello again, guys. Uh, welcome back. And it's time for our second lesson today. And that is math. Okay, so today in math, we're going to do three things. Okay, so first, I'm going to show you a song. Now, we haven't had a song in math for a bit longer time. But this one, we're going to repeat every day because I want you to learn this song. Okay, and this song will be followed by some actions using your fingers. Okay, uh, and we will begin with that in a minute. Just before we begin with that, I'm going to tell you what else we're going to do. After that, we're going to learn a new number. Okay, and once we're done with the new number, uh, I'm going to show you something called decomposing. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Okay, but first, let me tell you more about this song. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you why we're going to learn it. You, as you already know, we are now, uh, we've, we've done the numbers until 10. Okay, and we are now learning numbers, which are here on the number line between 10 and 20. Okay, so these numbers that I'm talking about, I'm just going to mark it, um, are here. So after 10, yeah, starting from 10 all the way to 20, 20 is the, at the end. So look at these numbers that we have here, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and in the end 20. So we're actually not going to look at 20, we're going to look at 19, that's the last number that we need. So what is so special about these numbers? Look at the way they look. So all these numbers are two digit numbers, what does that mean? They're not written with just one symbol, with just one digit, but with two, yeah? One and zero, one and one, one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, one and six. So something is repeating here. Can you see what? Listen, one and seven, one and eight, one and nine. All these numbers are written with two digits and the first one is always number one, yeah? And the, the second ones, always go in order. So you have 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? So these numbers, we kind of know them. We know them pretty well, but what we need to do is to know them perfectly, without a mistake, okay? So to help us with that, we are going to learn this song. It's called Numbers in the Teens. So between 10 and 19, those are the teen numbers. That's what they're called. Okay, and they all start with one. So this is what we're going to do. Remember how for letters, I've shown you many times how to air write. That was, for example, letter the. That was the last letter you've just learned is letter F. So we're going to do the same with these numbers, such as, can you guess what it is? Can you see what it is? That was one and six, 16. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to imagine that the tip of your finger is a magic pen. And that in the air, you're going to write an imaginary line, a line you cannot really see with your eyes, but you, you can imagine it. Uh, and that line traces the number. Okay, so let me show you. Let's try to do it together. Okay, I hope you can, oh, what's with my, huh? I hope you can see my laptop well. And let's go. Seriously now, folks, I'm tired of kids mixing up their teens. Every teen starts with a 1, even 11 and 12. Come on, everybody, let's get this done. Numbers in the teens, they stop with a 1. Come on, everybody, let's get this done. Okay, get your fingers ready. Numbers in the teens, they stop with a 1. 11. Is a 1 and a 1. 12. Is a 1 and a 12. 13. Is a 1 and a 3. 14. Is a 1 and a 4. Is a one and a five, sixteen. Is a one and a six, seventeen. Is a one and a seven, eighteen. Is a one and an eight, nineteen. Is a one and a nine. Yes. Come on, everybody, I'm let's get late. Numbers in the teens, they stop. Okay, so you can see, even when I'm doing, it takes me a little bit of time. Why? Because I need to think in my head how these numbers are written down. Now. 
this is the first time that well it's actually i'm cheating this is not the first time i practiced two times before this video and i'm still not getting it done so what does this mean that you probably also won't do it perfectly the first time you do it but that is okay what is important is that we learn this how are we going to do it we're going to practice it okay so we're going to do it now together we're going to do it in our zoom classes together and i would love for you to practice at home okay don't worry if you can't catch up with the song okay the more you do it the quicker you're going to get let's hear until the end great job here okay now look at my board as i said today we're going to do a new number so i've already written down the word the word says okay two e letters are e letters are written as long are we hear them as long sound e okay so it looks like this but the number that it is actually is f f f 14 14 okay so 14 i'm gonna wipe this out 14 is written with one and a four okay here it is it's number 14 okay number 14 number before number 14 is number 13 the one we learned uh, last week and tomorrow we're going to be doing number 15 okay so let's see number 14 i want to do it as a time frame and what we're going to be doing this week uh, besides learning uh, the rest of the number well we're not going to finish all the numbers to 20 but we're going to try to do as many as we can this week but also besides that you're going to be using number line more and more to add numbers okay so what i'm going to do now is this i'm going to remind you how we use a number line okay so remember for number line we need hops so i have a 10 frame here and i'm just going to fill it in uh like this okay so this is a 10 frame okay so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to get to number 10 on the number line okay so 10 hops from zero this is number 10 now I want to get to 14, okay? So what I'm going to do, the number of the hops that I need from number 10 to number 14, okay? That number that I get, that number of hops is the number of circles I need to draw here, okay? Because this is 10 plus, we have 10 plus something will give us 14 okay here the same we have 10 plus let's see how many here and we'll have 14 okay so let's see how many hops one two three four okay so between 10 and 14 there are four 14 uh, four hops sorry one two three four okay 10 plus four equals 14 so let's check it first we're going to do it uh, well we're going to do it by counting this but first i'm going to try with skip counting so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen that's what i need okay let's go one more time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so this is correct now let's see uh -huh. 10 plus 4 equals 14 how we can do exactly the same thing but in a tally so in a tally if you remember 
uh, we are making fives first. One, two, three, four, five. And one more, two, three, four, five. Five and five is ten. Okay, so again, we have ten plus how many more do we need here to get to fourteen? Well, we have ten. Here we had ten, we added four. Here we came to 10, we added 4 to get 14. So here we're going to add 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And this is how we tally number 14. Okay? So bottom line, four, uh, 10 plus 4 equals 14. I will be back in a minute to show you what we're going to do next.